The programming language called JavaScript is a high-level and interpreted programming language primarily used in creating interactive web applications. For example, when you click on the subscribe button, a small animation will appear. This is because of JavaScript. Also, JavaScript goes with HTML and CSS, which HTML is used to create the structure of a web page, and CSS is used to style it, and JavaScript is used to add more interactivity. When we talk about JavaScript, we think of JavaScript as used in front-end development, alongside HTML and CSS and some frameworks like React.js. But also, JavaScript can be used in the backend or server side of an application, alongside Node.js, which is a runtime environment for JavaScript, because JavaScript can only run on a web browser. Also, JavaScript can be used to create cross-platform mobile applications using a framework like React Native. So, you can use React Native as a framework for JavaScript and build mobile applications that work on Android and iOS. Speaking of cross-platform applications, you can do the same thing for desktop applications using a framework called Electron. It allows you to use web technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build cross-platform desktop applications. JavaScript is very popular among developers, and according to Stack Overflow Developer Survey, JavaScript is placed at first position of the most used programming language. Now let us talk about some JavaScript features. JavaScript is a dynamically typed language. That means the variable type is guessed during runtime, so developers don't need to specify the type of data the variable will store. Developers declare variables using var and let. The main difference is that var has function scope, so if you declare a var variable inside a function, it can be referenced anywhere in that function. However, if you declare it as let, it has block scope, which you can't reference it outside its block, or it will cause a reference error. The JavaScript DOM is a very popular JavaScript concept and let us explain it. When the browser loads the HTML document, it parses it and converts it to a DOM object, and it structures HTML elements into a tree-like structure. This allows JavaScript to easily access and manipulate HTML elements. So let us say I want to access the header 1 by its ID. I could use the document.getElementById and mention the ID name. I could say now hello world.textContent to access the content of the header 1 and concatenate it with world. And like this, I modified the web page using JavaScript. So because of the DOM, JavaScript is able to create elements, modify them, change their attribute, and update their styling. You definitely heard of a JSON file. It is a lightweight data interchange format that is easy for humans to read. It is also language independent, meaning it can be parsed by any programming language, not just JavaScript. JSON is like a hash map or a dictionary. It has key value pairs. You can create a file with a .json extension and add some data inside it in a form of key value pairs. Using JavaScript, I could require that JSON file and use it inside my JavaScript file. To get started, you need to download an IDE like VS Code to be able to write code there. Create an HTML file and include the basic HTML structure. Then create a JavaScript file, then link it with the HTML file using the script tag. JavaScript runs on web browsers, so if I write console.log hello world and open my HTML document inside a browser, I could right click, press inspect, and go to the console and you can see that the output was displayed there. Or you can download Node.js, a runtime environment for JavaScript, and you can use the command line and write node file.js to run your JavaScript file within your terminal. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some value from it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and click on one of these end screens that will appear right now so I can see you in the next video.